All hands on deck, ladies and gentlemen. This is Modern Warships, patch 45.9. What's up in the version? New Warships, USS Ahaya nuclear submarine with Trident Mark II missiles that can be launched from the underwater. New Korean Civics carrier who can take three helicopters on board simultaneously. And also, very long awaited leader type destroyer. Renewed graphics. Brand new HER renderer makes visual effects brighter and more realistic on powerful devices. Now you can set your quality to ultra. You can see better blast effects and aircraft nozzle lights and hold on, this is not all. Daily quests give more resources now, but their difficulty also rises slowly. The reward becomes more significant. Also, you can change quest if you don't want to complete it for a new one, but that should take a bit of gold. Our brand new premium shop awaits you, renewed and well cleaned, with modern warships logos on all the goods, now it would be more comfortable to use, try it out yourself. We've added some aircrafts and weapons. CV players now can try B-21, H-20 and pack their bombers. The last one carries experimental X-101 nuke missile. And that's not all for the missiles. New supersonic X-51 is directly guided by player and bypass heat traps. Hold on, there is more. Mona Cannon, Gibka Auto Cannon and Chinese DF-17 missiles are already waiting for you. We are very focused on improving the game, bugs fixing and of course, carefully monitoring in-game balance. In this patch we've made some improvements and some balance changes. More information you can get in the patch note and in our socials. And that's all for now, folks. I wish you to have a great game and perfect mood. Modern Warships, out.